Such is the relentless nature of World Cups. The sense of recency bias is heightened. When there are four games a day during the group stage and celebrating even the sweetest victory before the final is tempered by the need to focus on what happens next, the appreciation of moments and performances are diluted. So, while there is a feeling that England's defeat by France on Saturday night is the only thing worth considering about this tournament, the zoomed-out view produces a more rounded perspective, not least when it comes to the young players. Jude Bellingham and Bukayo Saka, most notably, have seen their statuses elevated to world class. But Marcus Rashford's rediscovered form has been, if not forgotten, at least glossed over by circumstances. Even in the super sub role, the Manchester United foe. The signs of a return to something approaching his best have been visible at United since Eric Ten Hag's arrival, notably at a time when Cristiano Ronaldo's mere presence in the dressing room risked further fracturing a club that hoped to be rebounding. But while Rashford was returning from Doha on Sunday, it was hard to ignore the significance of Ten Hag confirming that United would be activating the extension in his contract mostly to ensure he cannot leave for free in the summer. United are keen for him to sign a new deal but there are concerns that he is running down his contract, with Paris Saint-Germain among those interested in signing him. I can't answer that question, Ten Hag said when asked for his thoughts on that theory involving the 25-year-old. He has to make a decision. What we can do is to show him that this is the best club to be in, and it has to do with the culture of the club, but also in the way we are working together. It has to do with the way we play, the way we train, are we offering the right environment to progress further on, and it's also a financial issue as well. So, if we do that, if we can tell him about the ambitions and how we want to fulfill the ambitions, these talks we will have with him. Then it is up to him to make the decision. It's one and a half years still on his contract, and he will be here for all of that. The PSG links have been present for some time, with President Nasser al Khalifi last week describing Rashford as amazing, while admitting that talks had been held last summer about a potential deal. United picking up the option to extend his contract merely ensures he cannot go for free at the end of this season. And while Ten Hag is evidently very keen for him to be a central part of the long-term project, a big offer is required to keep him at Old Trafford. To have Rashford for free, every club would definitely run after him. We're not hiding it, we spoke before and there was interest, Al Khalifi said, three days before news of the contract extension broke. But the moment was not a good moment for both sides. Maybe summer, why not? Today, if he's a free agent, of course we can talk to him directly but we are not going to talk to him now. Let him focus on the World Cup. Then after, in January, hopefully, if we're interested we will talk to him.